Hello friends, welcome to Environmental Science, Unit 2 Ecosystems. Under Ecosystems, in this video, we are going to see the introduction types, characteristic features, structure and functions of a desert ecosystem. What is a desert or a semi-arid ecosystem? The, the desert can also be called as semi-arid ecosystem. Okay, now here, deserts and semi-arid areas are located in the western India on the Deccan Plateau. The climate in the desert is extremely dry, which is very high uh, temperature is there. And there are also uh, cold deserts, such as, uh, as in the Ladakh area, which are located in the high plateaus of the Himalayas. And the most typical desert landscape that is seen in the Rajasthan is in the Thar Desert. Uh, this has also sand dunes. And there are also areas covered with uh, sparse grasses. That is, they are not densely, uh, not densely distributed. And a few shrubs which grow only if there is rain. And in most areas of the Thor Desert, the rainfall is scanty and sporadic. That means the rainfall is very little and which is also irregular. There is no uniform um, fall of rain with a regular period of time. Hence, it is known as uh, irregular rainfall. And in this area, uh, it may rain only once in every few years. And in the adjoining semi-arid tract, tract the vegetation consists of a few shrubs and thorny trees such as the care and bubble. And the great and little run of coach or the highly specialized arid ecosystems. Here the run means desert and this great and little run of coach uh, are situated in the coach district of uh, Gujarat. In summers uh, they are uh, similar to a uh, desert landscape. However, as um, these are the low-lying areas uh, situa situated near the sea, they get converted into a salt marshes uh, during the monsoon period. Um, and during the monsoon period, uh, these areas are get covered with uh, mud and peat. Mud and peat means uh, uh, peat is on the dead plant material. So these areas are covered with the uh, salt marshes during the monsoon. And during this period, um, due to the availability of uh, water, they attract an enormous number of aquatic birds such as ducks, geese, cranes and stocks, etc. And the great ram is famous as it is the only known breeding colony of the greater and the lesser flamingos in our country. So there are different kinds of uh, flamingos. Um, about which um, the taller one is uh, greater and the lesser one is called uh, as the shorter. And the little run of coach is the only home of the wild ass in India. The desert and semi-arid regions have a number of, uh, number of highly specialized insects and reptiles. And the rare animals include the Indian wolf, desert cat, desert fox and birds such as the great Indian bustard and the floricum. And some of the common birds include the patridges, quails and sand rose. How, how are the desert and semi arid regions used? Here the areas of scanty vegetation with semi arid scrubland have been used for the purpose of uh, grazing of camel, cattle and goat in Rajasthan and uh, Gujarat and for uh, the grazing of sheep in the Deccan Plateau. And uh, the areas that have a little moisture such as along the water courses have been used for growing crops such as jowar and bajra and the natural grasses and the local varieties of crabs uh, the grasses and crabs of local variety have adapted to grow at a very low moisture levels and this can be used for the purpose of genetic engineering so this condition can be used for uh, genetic engineering uh, to develop the arid land crops for the future now uh, let's see the uh, what are the threats 
to the desert ecosystem. Here, several types of developmental uh, strategies and activities such as the human population growth that have begun to affect the natural ecosystem of the desert and the semi-arid land areas. And the conversion of these lands through extensive irrigation system for agricultural purpose has changed the natural characteristics of this region. The canal water that goes in this region uh, evaporates rapidly, bringing the salts to the surface. The region, thus the region becomes highly unproductive as it becomes saline due to the accumulation of salt. And uh, pulling of uh, excessive groundwater uh, from tube wells and bore wells lowers the water table and thus creating an uh, even drier environment and thus the human activities destroy the naturalness of this, this unique ecosystem. And the uh, special species, uh, the special species that evolved in this uh, special ecosystem over a millions of years may soon become extinct due to the uh, change in the environmental conditions and uh, conditions of the eco ecosystem of desert. How can the desert ecosystems be conserved? Uh, there is an urgent need to protect the residual patches of this ecosystem within the national parks and wildlife sanctuaries in desert and semi-arid areas. And for example, uh, the Indira Gandhi Canal in Rajasthan, which is um, a developmental project for the welfare of the people, of course, is now destroying this important natural uh, arid ecosystem as uh, it is converting this region into an intensive agricultural uh, area. So agriculture is also uh, necessary for the human being, uh, but uh, at the same time, it destroys the uh, rare ecosystem such as uh, desert. And in the Kuch district, the areas of the little ram, which is the only home uh, for the wild ass, uh, will be uh, destroyed by the spread of salt production work uh, carried out in the place of the little ram. So during the um, monsoon period, uh, the sea water from the sea uh, comes into the uh, land areas of the little ram and accumulates and people uh, store the um, sea water in those area uh, for the production of uh, salt. So after the monsoon period, um, the water drains and uh, they uh, involved in the production of uh, salt works. So uh, during, um, so because of the salt production work carried out in those areas, it affects the uh, wild ass and the ecosystem of the area. And moreover, uh, the developmental projects uh, are also altering the desert and arid landscapes. And uh, there is a short protection in the habitat available for its specialized species. The habitat is being reduced and uh, bringing them uh, to the verge of extinction. So hence, here we have to uh, see an important thing and we have to concentrate that we need to have a sustainable form of development of the desert. So far in this video, under ecosystems, we have seen the introduction, types, characteristic features, structure and functions of desert ecosystems. Thank you.